The purpose of this uh, video clip is uh, to uh, set up an Oculite SLX for proper operations. And I will go through the sequences to show how the system is set up, prepared and ready for the physician's use. So in order to have a system here, we have a laser console, which is right here in SLX. We have an indirect and we must have an interlock key and standard turn off and on key and then a foot switch. If you don't have one of these items, you will not be able to set up the laser. So this is the back of the SLX laser and uh, here we have some connections that I will uh, show you where uh, one can set up the laser properly. The AC inlet, the AC inlet will go to AC inlet, press, there is an uh, interlock plug, the interlock plug goes to interlock, click, and the symbol here is for the foot switch, and the foot switch goes right here. Now, there is another control here. Uh, or it's a volume for the beeping of the laser. You can increase and decrease the volume by turning this knob back and forth. And also one has to be careful that the laser is set for 115 or 240. From this small window, one would be able to see the laser is set up for international or 240 or 115 domestic or, uh, or where the voltage is different. So, of course, we have to have the connections to the wall, which is the AC inlet. The AC inlet goes at the back of the laser, and the key, of course, goes to the off and on key. And now you can turn the laser on and follow the sequences. So the laser will ask him, where is the remote uh, interlock? The remote interlock, it's this plug that goes at the back of the laser. There is a place for interlock and you just plug it in and you should hear the click. Once it's in there, you notice the laser will recognize that and it will go to a self-test. And after the self-test, it will ask the user to connect a fiber. So to connect the fiber, we have an indirect here. Of course, this indirect does not have the head pen on that, but it's still indirect. It has two cables. This is a fiber optic, and this red item here is to protect the fiber from damages, dirt, and uh, substances that are in the air. And this plug is for the indirect illumination light. So the laser is asking to connect the fiber optic. So this is the fiber optics. We remove it. Expose that, make sure that this part is clean, and then you will insert where it says aperture. Once you insert that, you should basically snug it in place, and once you snug that, the laser will recognize this device as an LIO plus. At the same time, the laser has gone to a standby mode by indicating the yellow light. So the laser is in standby mode. This plug is for the indirect, and the indirect has marking here. It says LIO. This is inserted here, so you will have illumination light. And now the laser is ready. Of course, I have to connect the foot switch. I will lay down here, make sure it's safe. The foot switch has also a plug. And this plug goes to the back of the laser where it's marked as foot switch. Clicks and it's in place. And then this can go basically on the floor. Now our laser is in standby. We have some controls and I will show you what those controls are. 
the laser, this light is indicating the laser is in standby. When you are in standby, basically you could set your power. This is a power knob. At this point, it's 200 milliwatts, and I can change that. I set it at 200 milliwatts, and then I have a duration, and the duration is controlled by this knob right here. So I will set that for 1,000 millisecond, which is one second. And also I have a repeat interval that I can set to 1,000 and adjust that according to my need. This window is showing the counter or the number of the laser shots. When you initially turn the laser on, it will have a number from the last procedures. So the last time this laser was turned on, there was six shots. You can easily set that to zero. Now it can count for you to see how many shots you're doing. Okay, now uh, we have set up the laser. We are still in standby mode and we like to have an aiming beam during standby. In order to find and uh, select the options, we have to basically do three things. Now, you reach and press mode for three seconds. The menu changes from LIO to micro pulse or a different menu. Then you, treat, you press treat again and it shows user preference. When you are in user preference, you press one more time and you go to Micropulse and you scroll until you come back to user preference and press mode where you can see the aiming beam uh, option. The aiming beam option allows you to have aiming beam off or on during treatment or a standby. If you notice that aiming beam off during a standby. In order to change that, I see there is a dash here and this is the command to control the aiming beam option. If you press and notice the menu changes to on with the standby. Once you do that, then you have aiming beam coming out of the indirect or any device during a standby after you get out of this mode. I am going to press mode and I get out and if you notice that now, I have an aiming beam. And for this aiming beam, I have a control here. The control knob will uh, control the intensity if you notice that. The intensity has changed to zero, and then I will increase that to maximum. So this knob, it says aiming beam control. So the aiming beam can be controlled. And if you notice that, we have aiming beam. And of course, the laser has come back to LIO again, recognize the LIO, and then I will go ahead and press treat the standby. And now I am in treat and in standby. The laser is armed and ready. Now you can basically still change the parameters. Duration can be changed to different numbers, same as the repeat interval. And if you notice the counter is still at zero. At this point, I'm going to do a test shot but when I do a test shot, I have to make sure that nobody is around. The laser is not pointed at anyone and have eye safety goggles. And I'm going to basically point out to a safe direction and press the foot switch. And what we expect to hear is the beeping that shows the laser is, that indicates the laser is on and off. And you can see the counter counting the number of the shots. And I can see the laser is coming uh, because of the fact that it's counting. There is no error message. And since this laser is an infrared, 
you are not allowed, you cannot see the aiming, you cannot see the treatment beam. You only see the aiming beam, which is at the range of 660 nanometer, comparing with 810 nanometer, which is invisible. So once the doctor has used that, then they can go back to pressing the treat standby one more time. And the laser is disarmed and it's in standby. Now, if I go ahead and press the foot switch, nothing happens because the laser is safe. And now the doctor can continue with a different patient. Of course, uh, I have to uh, also add that if you go into user preference, which is pushing mode, user preference, I have control of scrolling uh, different menus here and I can turn the aiming beam off and on with a standby, with treatment and once I choose my liking then I press and scroll to different options language is English here you can choose different language so error message review and of course the aiming beam and at this point I will go ahead and press mode and the laser is in a standard mode it's in a standby and I can actually leave this laser as is or turn it off by turning the key off and have it ready for someone else.